guys and welcome back to my channel um today's video is super impulse as you can tell i've had no time to get ready but i'm rocking my new shane dawson merch so i'm super excited um it's super nice super cozy um so yeah this is kind of gonna be my new setup um a little bit tilted to the left because my whole room is messy and this is such an impulse video my hair let's not focus on that because Again, this is a super impulse video. Um, I think I'm gonna put in a little concealer because these bags are no joke. So if you like videos like this, then just give this video a thumbs up. Um, I love these kind of videos. I love haul videos. My pocket, not so much. They don't like these kind of videos, but I do. So if you like this video, again, give it a thumbs up and just keep on watching. Um, I actually bought 13, 14, 15, 15 products. This is, it's a pretty big bag full of a bunch of stuff. Just gonna start grabbing stuff out of the bag. Um, and we'll go from there. So the first thing I bought is this Ardell Twin Wispy Pack. Um, this cost me $3.99. And it says compare at five dollars but it's actually retails for seven dollars so you save a couple bucks there not a huge difference but hey saving is saving so i really love these lashes these are one of my favorite lashes to put on clients or just to use myself when i just want like just like a natural lash something to just pop on and give me a little bit of um glam so the next thing i bought which i've actually been eyeing for a while every time i go i'm like hmm, should i buy it should i not should i buy it should i not one of my best friends actually bought me the berry version of this um because i don't have a purple palette and that's purple um but i got this one now so this is the Too faced sparkling pineapple eyeshadow palette um, and this is the packaging. It's so cute. I'm gonna open it for you guys. I paid $14.99 for this. And that's how much it retails for. That's that's all I guess. That's all I guess. It retails for $34. And I paid $14.99. Oh, this this palette is amazing. It smells like like summer, like coconuts and sunscreen and pineapple like you know the australian gold tanning oil that's exactly what it smells like so this is what it looks like and i absolutely love it because it's super uh, like a super everyday palette super pretty like i'm gonna swatch this like look at this look at this gold look how beautiful it is so these are super pigmented super buttery super creamy they smell amazing so I'm super excited to put this in like my everyday makeup to try it out. If you guys want to see a look with this palette, then give my video a thumbs up and I will do a look with this palette. So again, I paid $14.99 for this palette and it retails for $34. So the next thing I bought, I didn't buy it really for myself because um, maybe in the summertime when I'm really tan, um, but my mom, I bought this for my mom actually, and she loves to be a golden goddess Oompa Loompa, a shiny one, um, a sparkly Oompa Loompa disco ball, like that is my mom. She loves to be looking tan. Um, so I bought her the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated. It's a shimmering fake powder for face and body. It's really pretty. It's in the shade Lit, you know, because we're lit, but it looks like this and when you open it it is like a shimmery powder it's like you see like it's like it shimmers and it's a glow it's for like all over your body and then in the bottom it comes with a little brush she probably won't be using this brush but hey you can see um this cost me you're gonna be shook this cost me 5.99 as you guys could see I paid $5.99 for this, and this retails for $17. Yeah, yeah. So I was a little um, surprised to see Sephora products at Marshalls. 
usually you know you see Kat Von D you see um, Too Faced is normal you see like Bare Minerals cover effects but a Sephora brand I did not expect to see at Marshalls um, so when I saw this I had to pick this up this is the Sephora I'm gonna butcher the F out of this, but Haku Holdo plus Sephora Pro. I'm guessing this is like a Korean or Asian or you know brand. And this brush was $5.99. I'm gonna get focuses. So it's $5.99 and it retails for they don't have it in Sephora online anymore, but I was looking like at eBay and Merc Mercari. Um, it retails for $24 to $30, so anywhere between that. And it is like the brushes, it comes in this little box. The brush is kind of like this. I'm going to open it so you guys can see. This is like a really good contouring brush, you know, to get right in there and chisel. Or you can use it to set. Um, I'll probably use it for contour, maybe setting, or maybe even blending out your concealer. This is a beautiful brush. So the next thing I purchased, and I actually bought three, they're just different shades, um, are the Stila Glitter and Glow Eyeshadows. Um, I bought them in the shade Ballet Baby, Smoking Storm, and Vivid Jade. Um, these are absolutely beautiful. I've used these before, and I absolutely love them. So I got all the shades that they had. Um, and... Yeah, this is Ballet Baby. I'm gonna swatch them off for you so you guys can pretty much see. Let me just wipe away the illuminating um, bronzer. This is Ballet Baby. Oh my God, this is so pretty. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to pick it up on cam. This is what it looks like in the bottle. See how pretty that is? And this is what it looks like swatched. It is absolutely beautiful, like super glittery, super shiny. I usually like these to pop in the inner corners or to just put all over the lid with like a crease shade and we're good to go. So the next one is Vivid Jade. So that's what it's Vivid Jade. And it looks like this. It's less glittery, more sheeny, but you can still see the little bit of gold reflex in there. And it's absolutely beautiful. This is what it looks like in the tube. It kind of has like a green blue, you know, shift to it. Then this one is Ballet Baby. It's a little bit more pink. It's not picking up pink on camera, but it has like pink glitters, pink and like purple shifts. And this is what it looks like in the bottle. And I love these. I love these. I paid. What did I pay for these? I paid $7.99 for these. $7.99. And these each are worth $24. So the next thing I picked up is this Do You Fresh Glow Setting Spray from Too Faced. And it's part of their fruit line, I guess. Um this was interesting i my holy grail is the morphe setting spray and they actually now came out with a mattifying setting spray so i'm super excited about that i'm super excited to try that out um but this is the fresh glow setting spray and it's called the spray fixature fresh glow um it sprays kind of like this it's a really nice mist i paid $14.99 for this product and this product retails for $30. So I basically got it at half price. So the next thing I got, I was shook when I saw this at Marshalls because I actually have products of this brand and I love them. Um, and it is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. I this is this wasn't much of a difference in price, but hey, again, you save a couple dollars. So um this is the water sleeping mask. And I paid $18.99 for it. And it retails for $25. So I got it a few dollars off. Came with its little spoolie. And this is what the packaging looks like. I absolutely love the packaging of Laneige products. I think they're so minimalistic, so pretty. 
um and it's a water cream so it has like a gel like consistency i was actually running out of my belief aqua bomb so i decided to pick this up and it's pretty much the same consistency so i know i would like it um if it's hydrating i'll have to try that out and get back to you guys but as consistency wise it's like a gel like kind of um consistency so i like that the next thing i bought and um i bought this out of impulse i don't need any more red lipsticks in my collection but again i have a problem i bought is the anastasia liquid lip in the shade heathers it looks like this um i don't need any more red lipsticks in my collection honestly but i thought this was such a pretty liquid lip and i just feel like i had to buy it it's like a deep wine red and i love these kind of colors um i actually paid for this 7.99 and it retails for 20 bucks wow. i actually really like their formula um comfort wise if it's long lasting absolutely not anastasia liquid lips come off my lips super quickly and i guess it's because of the formula but it's comfortable and hey for eight dollars a 20 dollar lipstick why not the next thing i saw and i bought this also for my mom because i'm not a person that wears these kind of colors my mom loves these kind of colors um i'm trying to branch out and wear more of these kind of colors but i don't know i used to be so crazy and wear these kind of colors back in the day when i first started wearing makeup but lately i just haven't and it is this anastasia coral crush set and I paid $14.99 for this. I'm gonna swatch them for you guys. Cause I'm intrigued. Cause they all kind of look the same. So this is, oh, this is pretty. This is red coral. This is red coral. This is pastel coral. So we're gonna swatch. Pastel coral. The difference between red coral and pastel coral is that red coral is more red and pastel coral is more orange. Then we're gonna swatch neon coral. I'm guessing neon coral is more like the shade, but more orange. Yep. Pastel coral has a little bit more orange to it, and this has a little bit more red, so it's a little bit brighter. And then spicy is just a true orange and i know this because i've i've seen this color on a bunch of people and it's a beautiful oh it's actually more red but it's an it's a beautiful like red orange but it throws pretty red so i'm into colors like this so I, out of all of these, I'll probably wear spicy the most. So I'm almost done. I feel like this video is going to be a million years long, but I promise I'm almost done. So the next products, this is where I actually got shook it because I was like, no freaking way. Like, no way. Um, so the next thing I bought, they put the price where the packaging is, but it is a NARS lipstick in the shade Orgasm. And I paid $9.99 for this, as you guys could see. 9.99 and this lipstick it's actually a little bullet it's not that big so i didn't mind paying 9.99 for it but i would not pay the 26 dollars it costs because it is so tiny um but it is in the shade orgasm which if you know nars they have like an extensive orgasm line um and it is like a it's like a nude with gold shimmers in it i'm gonna i'm swatching it now so you guys can see it it's actually a really pretty color um and it's like you see how it's like a rosy color but then you it has like a gold shift to it it has a lot of little sheeny gold flecks in it but it's actually super pretty and then you just pop a gloss over this and i i really enjoy this so the next thing i bought is again from the orgasm line and it is the nars illuminator in the shade orgasm so it looks like this a lot of you guys might know what it is so i bought this because i think it would be nice all over the body it has the same kind of like 
gold sheen to it um it is an illuminator um so i could probably pop it on as a highlight or put it before my foundation or just pop it like on my chest when i self tan or when i get tan you know um in the summer so it's not something that i would normally use but for the price i feel like i had to pick it up so i paid $7.99 for this and this little bottle retails for $30. So I thought that was a steal. I'll figure out how to use it, when to use it. But for $7.99, I feel like I had like I could not pass this up. Next thing I bought, which is really the reason why I went to that Marshalls in the first place. So my best friend Ali told me that um they had just gotten a shipment. Um and I'm pretty sure all Marshalls have kind of the same thing. So um, she told me that they had just stocked on a bunch of NARS and Anastasia and Too Faced products and like they had a bunch of foundations. So I went like the next day. The second to last thing I picked up is this NARS All Day Weightless Foundation Fluid All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I paid and this is the most expensive product that normally is the most expensive. I paid $14.99 for this bad boy. And guess how much it retails for? I'll, I'll let you I'll let you wait. The bottle's a little bit like dirty, but that doesn't bother me. Um it looks like this. This is in the shade Light for Deville. Um it looks like it would be my shade. I'm pretty good at color matching, so I'm gonna put it on right here so you guys more or less can see. I'm so scared to dirty this sweater. I just bought it. But this will match me perfectly. Wow. I'm using my fingers with this and look, dude, a little goes such a long way with this foundation. Only thing I don't like is obviously the stick, but I know Sephora sells the pump. So I will purchase the pump because personally, I prefer pump foundations than the ones with the little sticks just because I like hygiene wise, it's better. So I paid $14.99 for a $49 foundation. Super excited about this. Um, I'm probably gonna do a first impressions on this because I'm super curious. It says it's luminous, but the bottle is matte. So that kind of throws me off. Usually when they do, I know like NARS usually when they have products like this is because it's supposed to be matte and luminous bottles are like clear and not with this frosted glass. But we shall see. I'm probably going to do a first impressions on this and I am super excited to try this out. So the last thing I bought um, is this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. And it smells, it's safe for sensitive skin and it's intense hydration for dry, parched skin. And it is in the um, smell honeysuckle. I absolutely love the smell of honeysuckle. It's one of my favorite scents. Um, and the reason I bought this is because that girl talk right now, you know, ever since I started taking birth control, my skin has been super duper dry. Like my chin area is super dry along my nose and in between my eyebrows. And I know those are hormonal areas. So um, I want to start trying out this cream like for nighttime because it is a more hydrating cream to see if that helps with my dry patches that I get along my nose and here and on my chin mainly. Um, so I'm super excited about this. I know Kathleen Lights raves about this cream and she has super dry skin. So I'm excited to try this. I spent, it's actually brand new, like no one has touched it. Um, and it, I paid $7.99 for this and this retails for $14. So I basically paid half price for this. Um, and I'm super excited to try it out. So I will let you guys know how it goes. If you guys want to see a skincare routine, um, comment down below because that's something I want to do for you guys. But only again, if you'd be interested, um, I, I'm not like a crazy skincare guru. I have a few products. Um, and it's what I use. I kind of don't change anything up because my skin likes to go crazy. Um, but if you guys want to see a skincare routine, I will be happy to show you guys what I use. 
so that's it guys um that is everything i bought in my haul um you guys are going to be shocked when i tell you how much i spent on all this stuff and how much it would have cost and how much i actually saved so i'm breaking out my agenda where i wrote everything down um i spent in total this is without tax 153 dollars um which is crazy to me because i bought so many things i bought 15 products and that is insanely good if i would have gone to sephora or ulta and purchased all of these items i would have spent 384 dollars without tax so that would be like close to 400 bucks so if you subtract 348 and 153 i saved 231 dollars that's a lot of money like 200 dollars in sephora is not a lot because that's like three products but it is a lot honestly i promised myself i was not gonna buy any more makeup because I organized all my makeup and you guys will see a tour coming up soon of my makeup but I just it's like an obsession it's really bad it's really bad I wish there were AA meetings for makeup shopaholics like if you know one drop it down in the comments below because your girl needs one um I I couldn't pass up the deal you know <laughs> it is what it is but yeah so that is everything i bought at marshall's um if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe thank you guys so much for watching as always i'll see you guys in my next video bye